Blessed welcome to this tutorial friend. My name is Maverick from Work with Expert and in this video tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how you can make the 3D moving photo cube right on your cap card. Alright, welcome back friend. Now to do this um, you're going to make use of your cap card. So um, what you just have to do is to enter your cap card and click on new project. Now it's going to take you to your gallery. The first thing you have to do is to select a photo, which um, it has to be um, a deep background photo, something like this. If you do not have one, you can just go to Google and just download any plain deep background photo like this. Just make it to be a little bit deep so that by the time you want to add the flash, it can you know show very well and it can look flashy, all right? So um, now, um, if once you're able to do this, now the next thing for you to do is to tap on the clip just like this now i always advise that um you delete this end um this cap cut at the end then you let me just try to adjust it a little bit to something of um oh this much sorry let me just make it something of sorry so you adjust the clip all right let me just adjust this to something of nine minutes or eight minutes okay i think nine minutes it's cool yeah so um now here's the clip here so you just adjust it now you tap on the clip once you tap on the clip then you tap you scroll and you go to mask okay you click on mask here so once you click on mask it's gonna load and you click on rectangle once you click on rectangle you tap on this invert invert at the bottom left corner here now it's gonna change so the next thing for you to do is to click on this mark icon then once you click on that you try to adjust the these to look like a border all right so you try to adjust it just like this i think it's more cool like this here so you use your hand you just use your two hands to adjust it you can see it from the cursor right here this adjusted very well yeah so it's cool so you click on the back and you save it all right so i'm just gonna save it as the highest resolution so that um it comes out great so um yeah i think it's cool now so try to export it just click on this drop hop um icon to export yeah so now once you're done exporting click on done so that is saved on your gallery now the next thing for you to do is to click on new project again so it's it still go to your photos all right in case you did not see photos you can see here is videos just tap on photos there all right then you select the photos that you want to use so i'm just going to select these three photos just select any it depends on the auto cube it's better you make it something like three or if you want to make it four it's also okay depending on how many photos that you want to use but i'm just going to make use of three photos here so i'm just going to select those three photos you can see them below here right and i'm going to click on add now um once i've done this then the next thing for me to do now you can see um i like dogs a lot so sorry if um if you're not a dog lover and i'm making use of this but i just like dogs i like um dogs a lot so now the next thing is for you to tap on the clip now we're gonna have this effect to everything we're gonna do here but let me just first tap on this first image here then once you tap on that you tap on animation once you tap on animation you tap on com you tap on combo then you scroll and you move to, you, you you scroll all the way to train four all right you can see train four here so tap on train four you can see it's moving now market check market move to the next um image click on combo train four right click on train four it's going good market then the next image also combo remember you go to animation then combo then train four then you mark it and it's awesome yeah we're cool right so now if i should play it you can see that it is moving in a train motion right it's moving yeah cool it was blur a little bit then it moves yeah that's awesome so now you delete this cap cut at the end we do not want this um outro this um cap cut um um the the cap cut um um what's it called remind me <laughs> the the cap cut logo right um the watermark yeah the watermark so now you try to increase the resolution i always try to make sure to increase it to um the highest quality since it's not although if your if your video is or if the images that you're using is very long you can see that it's just 17 megabyte if you're someone using Maybe a lot of images then you can just consider that but you can also leave it at cell 20 but i prefer to use the 1080 um, pixel right so now you export this also click on drop up and you export the video and you export the video good so you click on done so now once you click on done you now have two projects saved on your phone now what we're gonna do now is to make use of these two projects so what we're now gonna do is to click on new project go to videos now select this video that you just created click on add now once you click on add you can you've seen that you have imported the video 
so now what you're gonna do here is that we have to first blur this video all right so that it looks it serves as the background so we have to blur it so now just um so all you have to do now is to make sure that you do not tap on the click all right just take it back as a normal um interface just like this and you click on effect all right you click on effect then you tap on video effects then you tap on basic then you scroll all the way down you look for blur you can see blur here okay so there are so many features there but just use this blur okay so now take mark it I adjust this blur to all your videos so that it blurs everything okay yeah you can see the way I just adjusted the blur in case you just tap on it just like this and you you adjust it all right so now if I should play it you can see that everything will blur right you can see everything is blurry yup 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 it's blurry all through that was have as the background yeah so um always make sure that you delete this one yeah so always make sure that you delete the um the cap called watermark now once you're done with that just here at us to the back right here then press back and click on overlay all right now tap on overlay and tap on add overlay and add the video the same video which you just which you imported just add it again so as a new um project all right no not a new project as a new um clip all right you can see that we're still using the same video right so now the next thing you have to do here is to click on animation all right click on animation click on combo then you scroll all the way and you look for cube 4 all right that is why we turn it to cube right now you look for cube 4 here is cube 4 and you tap on it so you can see that it already turned the video to cube right yeah you can see how awesome it is it's now in a cube format all right yeah so you see it's in a cube format so um you can just try to adjust it a little bit let me just try to adjust it a little bit okay yeah i think it's more cool like this so you just adjust it so now it's in a cube but for us to turn it to 3d cube so that it looks more like in a 3d now the next thing for us to do now is to import the first video which we did which is the overlay which we did this first video the first one we did then you add it right as an overlay all right you click on add overlay <laughs> let me do that again in case you do not see it you just click on please always make sure that when you are doing this make sure that this cursor or whatever it is this line is straight to the end all right or to the beginning rather not at the middle or depending on what you want to do but it's always best that it's at the beginning just like this so you tap on overlay add overlay then you add the video right so once you have the video now you you adjust the the video to uh, to the full size right so now the next thing you have to do is to click on splice okay you click on splice once you click on splice you click you make it load and you click on filter all right click on filter so make sure that you, the black background in the middle is it's gone all right so now once you do that you mark it and now the next thing for you to do is to click on animation and you add you, you click on combo and you search for cube 4 just like you did for the other video there so you look for cube 4 here is cube 4 you tap on that and now you can see that the cube is showing so now once you have the cube just like this the next thing for you to do please always make sure that you you're careful here so make everything be do not add it from do not do it from the beginning just like that i mean from the middle start it from the beginning like this then adjust the cube the make sure that the the clip the new clip which you just imported which is the first video that we remove the middle background the black background so you adjust it so you, you press back all right in case you couldn't you can't adjust it then you have to press back so you now adjust it all right you adjust it now you can see that it's adjusted yeah so now if we should play it you see that it's you can see that the 3d has already been added all right so you can see you can see how it's working okay so um that is it let me just try to cut it a little bit here so that uh, yeah so if i should play it again now let me just play it sorry my phone is hanging a little bit okay yeah okay yeah so now you can see you can see how the finished product looks all right so here is how you can do your 3d moving photo cube friend i believe this video is very helpful and i believe it has solved your problem just now it is very easy all you have to do is just you can try to rewatch the video one or twice before you try to implement it and also if you have any difficulty just get back to the video and you can see whatever i have done so it's as easy as this thank you very much for your time my friend if you enjoyed this video please do the needful and um i'll see you in some other videos take care of yourself bye